All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened STR Majin Vegeta at rainbow status here on the global side of the game. Now, as you're watching this video, my showcase for the EZA Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku should also be live on the channel. So make sure to also go check out that video after you finish watching this one, all right? And as I've said multiple times in the past, as good as that Goku is, and believe me, he's really, really freaking good, I feel like this Majin Vegeta is even better. Of course, you can let me know in the comments down below after you watch both videos, whether or not you agree with that assessment. But I truly believe this Vegeta is at least slightly better than the Goku. Anyways, before we jump into the gameplay, I wanna quickly go over the details for this Vegeta, so if you guys already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead maybe a minute, minute and a half, and we'll get into the full showcase, okay? So starting with this guy's leader skill, it gives Vegeta's family, key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 130%, or STR types, key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 100%. One other thing you wanna pay attention to is his absolutely ridiculous attack stat of 18,000 and 11. This is a non Dokkan Fest exclusive unit that is over 18,000 attack, which of course is a big reason why he hits so damn hard, as you guys will see in just a second. Moving on to his uh, super attack, he greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and his passive changes AGL key spheres to STR key spheres, and then he gets attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional Attack and defense plus 5% per key sphere obtained when facing a Goku's family category enemy. So when you're facing a Goku, a Gohan, a Goten, a Chi Chi, anybody else in Goku's family, he's gonna be getting a 25% attack and defense per key sphere obtained, which is insane, right? And uh, his links are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Pride, Royal Lineage, Orban of Flash, Supreme Warrior, Sorry, Supreme Power. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Supreme Warrior. Supreme Power and Shattering the Limit. And he has six categories. Vegeta's Family, Majin Buu Saga, Worthy Rivals, Resurrected Warriors, Pure Saiyans, and of course, Super Saiyan 2. So those are all the details for this Extreme Z Awakened Majin Vegeta. And without further ado, let's pop into the gameplay here. Of course, we are running a Vegeta's Family team. And since he gets a boost against Goku's Family, it only makes sense be on the legendary Goku event and we kind of have the dream rotation right off the bat we got him linked up with the tech Vegeta we have the support from the Bula we also have a good amount of orbs right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven that's eleven right hold on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven it's eleven orbs to start with the support with a good linking partner we should see some pretty good stuff here here we go 11 orbs for him, and he's getting 170,000 defense. Now, of course, he doesn't heal like the AGL Goku, which, you know, is a little bit unfortunate. The, the Goku's healing is definitely clutch, but this guy more than makes up for it with just how much defense he gets with the orbs, right? So even though he doesn't heal you, he'll prevent you from taking as much damage as the Goku. So here we go. First turn, first attack, 11 orbs. Um, let's get it. I'm excited, man. What's it gonna do? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Over 4 million attack for the very first attack! The very first attack, 4 million. Yo, we should have started with like a different rotation because you guys are gonna be expecting way too much now, right? You're gonna be like, yo, we got 4 million already. How do we go up from there? And um, trust me, he can go higher. But that's pretty good. You definitely can go higher than 4 million. I've seen it, but starting off with 4 million is going to be hard to follow up, right? So we're going to try to not super with these guys if we can. Um, let me see. Okay, I'll give one. Actually, no, let's give him these his orbs that we are going to super here. But what I want to do is actually not kill Goku if we can and just save as many AGL and uh, STR orbs for the Vegeta next turn. But look at that guy, we're starting off 
with 4 million. I saw a slight lag in the gameplay, I do apologize for that because I recently switched over to um, using a screen sharing software as opposed to what I was doing before, which was the you know direct connection with the Elgato, which was better, but I was having issues with my Elgato recently, so now we're using the screen sharing thing, and uh, there's been some issues. There's been some issues. Okay, so we got the transformation here. I don't even know exactly what happened. It felt like the turn went by really fast. Is that like a glitch or something? I don't know. Anyways, uh, ooh, how many orbs here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight orbs right there. Uh, I want to actually super with the trunks first. I want to super with the trunks first. But at the same time, I want to keep him linked with the Majin Vegeta. Like, I want the double Majin Vegeta rotation, so I'm kind of at a loss here. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll, go, we'll get trunks to super later. Let's go like this first. Um, I'm going to put the Majin Vegeta here, actually, so we can get a few more STR orbs to fall. There we go. And how many orbs is that? One, two, three, four. Oh, hold on, let's, let's go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. At thirteen, we're getting so lucky with the orb placement right now. Okay, that's thirteen orbs for the STR Majin Vegeta, and we're looking at two hundred and seven thousand defense. Two hundred seven thousand, which of course is not like the highest we've seen, but that's very, very respectable. He's going to be able to tank most. Um, events with the exception of like you know the MUI at the end here he's still gonna get hit pretty hard with 200,000 defense but we're, we're definitely not gonna get killed by a super okay enough talking we just got 4.4 million attack <laughs> and critting for almost 4 million as well man what else can I say what else can I say I told you guys I told you guys this guy is a freaking monster absolute monster i know i've been saying that word a lot in both showcases and in both cases it's been true but this guy even more so even more so than the goku this guy hits even harder um as hard as the goku does hit and like i said guys make sure you go watch that goku showcase because um you know i've been saying like vegeta's better but you shouldn't sleep on the goku either you shouldn't sleep on the goku either these two units work very similar to each other but uh vegeta is kind of more of a um I mean, he gets more defense, he gets as much attack, but he also has more attack stat. So his damage is going to be higher than Goku on average. Uh, Goku gets less defense as well, because he only gets 10% um, with every Geese Spirit. Well, 15% if you're facing a Vegeta's family enemy, but he gets a lot of healing. So, I feel like maybe with, like, like utility-wise, the Goku might be a little bit more useful because of the healing. But, uh, <laughs> Vegeta makes up for it. He really does. Vegeta makes up for the lack of healing with just so much defense. Okay, so another turn here. Oh, ooh, wow. And a bunch of more orbs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, if we go over here, that's 1, 2, 3, 4. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like 12 might be the most we can get because this looks less, right? This looks like less. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 12 it is. Um, actually... Yeah, I want Vegeta to super first. I mean, they're all Vegeta. My bad. They're all Vegeta. I want the Tech Vegeta. No, there's two Tech Vegetas. I want the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta to super first. We get that extra attack. But honestly, I don't think we can do that right now because we would have to give him too many STR orbs, so that'd be a waste. So let's just go with 12 orbs here, right? And now we're getting 195,000 defense. Uh, should be a little bit less attack than last time, but still... A very respectable amount. I'm going to guess like 4.2 million or so. 4.1, 4.2. Let's see it. 4.2. What'd I say? 420. Nice. And crit. Ah, no crit there. But 1.9 mil. So pretty much every single super we've done. No, every single super we've done in this showcase so far has been over 4 million this is a non dokkan fest exclusive unit guys i want to emphasize that i want to emphasize that because if you saw like a dokkan fest unit getting these numbers you'd be pretty impressed you'd be like yeah that's that that unit hits really hard but this is a unit that is not a dokkan fest exclusive that you know you can get on every single banner that's like really easy to pull i think i've pulled like 20 copies of this guy i got him to sa20 for free right or not say sa20 uh sa15 right like you can pull a million copies of this guy um on every banner and he's this good 
which is just awesome. Like, I'm not complaining. I think it's a great thing that Bandai is actually okay with making these non dual compass units like this powerful, this strong. And uh, I think it has a really good precedent for future units as well, future EZAs like Mask Saiyan, for example. Like, how good is Mask Saiyan gonna be with his EZA? I can only imagine. Like, I'm getting excited thinking about it. Um, it's gonna be really good. So, I think we're gonna just go a few more turns and then call it a day because uh, there's really not that much more to see here. But uh, what you've seen hopefully has been very impressive. That was what, seven orbs? So, it's gonna be more of a regular turn here. Uh, because we only got seven, we're at, we're at 125,000 defense, and you know it's gonna be a good test of his tanking actually. Because we have type disadvantage, we only got seven orbs. Uh, how much damage are we gonna take? Okay, so normal hits, normal attacks, still double digits, very nice. And can we crit? Ah, oh, we crit over two million for the crit and damage now because we greatly increased the defense. So. Even though um, he doesn't get like a crazy amount of defense, he gets a lot of defense, but not a crazy amount. Once he supers, he's still gonna be extremely tanky because he greatly raises attack and defense when he supers. So you don't really have to worry about him too much, man. Like he's gonna do just fine defensively in pretty much every single event in this game. Um, let's do one more rotation if we survive here, which we should. We should survive here. But just to be safe, I'ma pop a Princess Snake. I have a lot of Princess Snakes, not really a waste or anything like that, but let's use that just to make sure we make it to the next turn. Uh, let's save the AGL orbs as always, and the um, STR orbs for the Vegeta. And do one more rotation, one more attack, and then that's gonna be it. I wish actually I brought like a Deborah cookie or something. Mm, I guess it doesn't really matter if I bring Deborah cookie, cause like, Damage you see with a Zabura cookie really is not representative of how much damage any unit can do because you're not going to be using Zabura cookies for most of your runs, so I guess it's pointless. Okay, no Zabura cookie, all good, just one more attack to end things off and hopefully we get a lot of orbs here. Should be getting maybe 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, 8, 9, just 9, a little disappointing. Uh, oh, what if we, hmm, what if we drop one here, drop that one, it should be one more, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so ten orbs, starting off with ten orbs, uh, 159,000 defense, and that should do it, guys. So, I think the highest we reached was like 4.5 mil, or something like that, which, I'll be honest, man, I'm impressed by. I'm very impressed by it. We can definitely get more if we tried harder. We brought some more orb changers, some more orb changing items, and all that stuff. I'm sure we could have easily. Oh, okay. Hopefully we don't die here. Hopefully we don't die here. Oh, 183k. All right, there we go. 3.8 mil final attack of the showcase. And uh, like I said, if we tried really hard, if I really, really wanted it, we could have gone even higher. But this is, I think, a very realistic showcase, a very realistic look of what this guy can do most of the time. And most of the time, he's an absolute monster. He's going to be hitting like a freight train. 3.5 mil easy, 4 mil easy, um, maybe even close to 5 mil if you get the right orbs. But that's the showcase, guys. That is the video. I'm going to just quit this right now because there's nothing else for me to prove, nothing else for him to prove, nothing else for me to show. That is the showcase. Uh, I want you guys to let me know. Now that we're done both showcases, and hopefully you guys have seen both at this point, which of these units between the Amaj and Vegeta here and also, uh, let me find that Goku real quick. Uh, let's go AGL and Super. Between the Majin Vegeta and this Goku here, which one has impressed you more? Which one do you think is better? I think Vegeta is better personally, maybe by a little bit. Um, Goku, of course, is amazing with his healing and everything, but Vegeta just hits harder, he gets more defense, and uh, I like using him more. That's just my personal opinion. But that's it, guys. That is the video. Let me know what you think about both these units in the comments down below. You can't leave with the Goku on the screen. Okay, this is this guy's showcase. This is Vegeta's showcase. Uh, yeah, let me know. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I really had a lot of fun making it. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big, 
red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you're going to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.